Hi, my name is Timothy Lemoyne and welcome to part seven of building the one board birdhouse. In this episode, I am gonna show you how to start your assembly. Stay tuned to learn more about the tools you'll need for this project. All right, so a few of the tools you're gonna need. You're going to need a drill. So here's the drill, one eighth inch drill bit on that. You're gonna need a driver. For this, I use a Torx bit, it's a T25. The screws I use are one and one fourth inches long. It's the perfect amount. And those also are Torx bits on those. Finally, you need some wood glue. I use exterior grade because these things will get wet and you don't want them breaking apart in the weather. Uh, I just buy it by the gallon, and uh, I'll link down below if you're curious about the brand that I think is best, link down below. Uh, but I buy it a gallon at a time, and I put it in old mustard containers. Other than that, uh, if you have any questions about stuff you need, you can let me know or check the links down below. The first two pieces that you're gonna assemble together are actually gonna be the back and the side. The side gets glued in place on one edge. It does not matter which side. Uh, but it basically needs to line up flush along the bottom, and the bottom of this piece needs to go right onto your line. But you're gonna do this upside down. So how's that for fun? You'll notice the vise is open, so I'm gonna back this out a little bit. You can see the entire vise. I'm sticking my side piece in there, and then I'm gonna tighten that down. So here is another angle of this vise. That's my side piece in. Next, I'm gonna run a really thin bead of glue down this piece and after I spread that thin bead then I'm gonna smooth it out which brings me to my next point you should have a paper towel here ready to wipe on then your top or your back rather is gonna fit down onto this piece and while you can't see me right now actually you can see me a little bit there I am uh, you will be looking at this line along the bottom of your piece I'm wiggling my thumb over here and say, okay, that needs to line up there, tip it up, and hold it flat here. This is gonna be a time where it's gonna pay off to be nice to other kids, because you can get one kid to hold it, because next you're gonna put a little drilly hole through there. So I'm reaching for the drill right now without moving these things, and I'm gonna spin, drill a pilot hole. Now, I'm, you like that? Next, I'm switching over to a screw, and I'm gonna drive a screw into that space. So I've got one in there. After you get your first screw in there, things get held together a little bit better. And uh, I'm just gonna double check and make sure I'm lined up on my line down here. Then I'm gonna pre-drill and screw in that next piece. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm actually uh, taking this piece out of the vise. It's very likely that you're gonna have some pieces or some uh, portion of the glue squirt out. And that's where I just take my trusty paper towel and uh, I wipe that stuff off. You're painting over, so I'm not really concerned about that glue squeeze out. I'm just wiping the excess off so that I don't have to sand it off later. Here we are looking at my birdhouse from another angle. So as we look at this thing, this is my back. The side is now on it. And what I wanna do next is get this piece in the bottom. When you place the bottom in, it needs to come out and be flush with your side. A lot of people will turn it the wrong way and it lines up with the edge of this board, but it doesn't come out to the front. That would be the wrong way. So look closely for that. Here's another angle of that if you're confused. This is the back of my birdhouse. This is the point with the side. When I place this thing in here, there's some space on this other side, and it comes up even with this front. We're gonna glue on this surface that touches there, and we're gonna glue on this surface that touches here. 
All right, so I've already put my glue on there. I've spread it out and I cleaned the excess off on a piece of paper towel. Placement on this thing, very critical. A lot of kids and a lot of craftspersons would wanna line this up so it's perfectly even with the bottom. And I understand that thinking. The issue is, is that if you stick it down there, it is way more likely to rot out faster, which means the birds have a home for less. So I don't have an exact measurement for this. I'm just gonna say that from flush, you come back a slight amount. And it seems weird, but that's actually gonna prevent this from rotting down, you know, like deteriorating in the weather, breaking down, becoming compost. So up a small ways. If you're the type that needs a measurement, let's say one fourth of an inch. All right, so now you can see I've cut to a new scene and I'm actually gonna spin this. And what's gonna happen is I am gonna put a screw right through the side. But before that, I need to drill my own pilot hole. This is one you're just doing with a hand drill. Little things I'm looking at, is there a gap in here? Like an, an air gap, like can we see an opening? We wanna do whatever is necessary to close that thing up. So sometimes it means a friend squeezes that shut. And it could be caused just by natural curves in the wood. Uh, they dry at different rates, so sometimes you get that. So right now, I'm gonna go with my drill, and it's a good time to talk technique. For beginners, it's really a two-hand job. You really can't support a drill unless you use two hands. That means a friend is holding it while you go in. So, because I don't have any friends, just kidding, I got a few, uh, but because I don't have a friend here right now, I'm just gonna hold. I'm gonna line up my drill with this piece, go straight down, Attempt to center it and put a hole in there. Okay, without moving too much, I'm going for a screw. This is another situation where it makes sense to use two hands on a drill, especially for beginners. And I've learned by watching kids that if you keep this closer to your body, your ability to put this screw in is a lot, lot higher. And then finally, you wanna use short little bursts as you go in. So you can kinda of see me pulling the trigger and hear it a little bit at a time until this screw is just below the surface of your side. That's considered best technique. All right, so I have a screw that goes through the side. Next, I'm gonna flip this around. Now we're looking at the back and I wanna put a screw through the back and have it go into the side. This is another situation where things just need to line up. So what you're seeing here, I'm lining up my drill bit right down the center of this, taking it around. I'm gonna turn my hand so you can see the action that I use on a trigger. And again, I'm just trying to center things. This is a good time to have a friend hold pieces. On a drill, I actually go full speed. And then the thing that a lot of people don't know, I actually pull and go full speed on the way out as I pull. And that makes life about a million times better. A million times, not even exaggerating. Then I'm gonna take a screw and just get it started. And this is what I refer to as feathering. So when I'm putting a screw in, I do feathering because if I go full speed, a lot of times I send this thing over to the other side of the world. And that's a bad thing. We want to just barely get it under the surface. So it's lots of short bursts until that screw head is just below the surface. All right, actually the last part that I'm gonna show in this particular video is gluing on your front. And I stop here because this is the point, or the last point that you're gonna use glue, for a while anyways. The next step needs to be glueless, and I'll explain that in part seven. But for now, it's important to know that as you look at your birdhouse, you're next gonna put glue on this surface and across this surface, and then you'll place your front and you'll glue and screw that down. So 
So now I've got glue on these front two pieces. Check out the next scene so you see, can see how I'm gonna place these. All right, here I am. Placement of this, also important. Ask a friend for help. The bottom edge of this needs to line up with the bottom edge of my side. So I'm feeling that with a finger. All the while, I'm also feeling where this side comes into the edge of my front, and I'm making sure that those are flush. That's the term for it. I'm gonna spin this towards my body now. I like it in close here. So as I drill and as I drive, I can hold it, keep the drill close to my body and have the best amount of control. I'm just double checking, making sure nothing moved. I'm gonna go full speed and drill into this piece. Immediately put a screw in before even you go for this other hole. I want to drill and drive this to be sure that it's not going to move while I'm drilling any of my other parts. Again, short flickers to get this in. After you have that first one in, double check. This is probably going to spin and rotate. Make sure it's flush along the edge again. Drill and drive this piece as well. And the final steps for part seven. I've just put two screws through my front. I'm gonna do a third one down here. It needs to go in to this bottom piece. This will give the bottom lots of support, gives it years of life. I actually usually typically expect 10 years out of a birdhouse. So here I am. I am lining up my shot with the bottom. So here it is, I'm actually gonna move more towards center, make it look good. Notice I check a few times, and in it goes. Drive a screw through there. And there you have it. So that concludes part seven. Thank you again for watching. Right now, things that I have, I've got a front, glued to a side, glued to a back, which is all glued and screwed to a bottom. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to get that door in. The door has to be one that's gonna open, so you might have guessed it. Here's a little spoiler alert. It's not gonna be glue on the door. That would be a problem. You'd be surprised how many kids make that mistake. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate you clicking that button. Have a great day.